Hey everyone, today I'm going to tie for you a river nymph that was one of my most effective uh, patterns whilst competing at the World Fly Fishing Championships just gone in Slovakia. Since returning back home here in Australia, it's been amazing. So I thought, um, yeah, it's one I should show you. It doesn't come as a surprise, it's a pheasant tail. They're such reliable, consistent flies. Very quick and easy to tie, which is great, especially when they're nymphs and uh, you may go through a few of them. Or you just might be time poor, you want to tie something nice and quick and get out there catching some fish on the river. So this fly, um, this fly I'm about to tie, it's got a 2.5 millimeter bead and it's on a Hanak 130 dry fly hook, a size 18. The reason for that is it's just got a really nice fine gauge wire. So especially for small fish, it will go in really well, um, but it can still hold bigger fish. And it just keeps the profile of the fly nice and slim as well. So I'm just tying in uh, a little tail here, just with some, uh, it's actually brown hen. Not really fussy what you use for the tail. I don't think it really, you know, matters that much because you, uh, you start catching fish on it, the tail gets torn out and it just keeps catching fish. So I'll tie down with my brown thread there. Perfect, now this fly actually has a little little red butt on it, a metallic red butt. And I'm tying that with just a little bit of uh, flashaboo there that I pulled out of a big hank that I actually use for flashing a lot of my lake flies. But it's, um, yeah, I find if it goes on for me, it's nice and thin, easy to wind on. And it's not too fat. I find if I use like uh, the spools of uh, holographic, it can be a little bit wide. And especially when you're tying on a nice small, you're tying a really small fly. Um, yeah, you want it to be nice and fine and thin. Perfect. So I'll trim that there. Again, you don't want too much flash. Um, yeah, like it's amazing how just the tiny bit of flash lights up in the water. All right, now I'm actually tying in the uh, thread here. I might just lock this bead into place. I'm tying in the thread that I cut off uh, when I actually started this fly because it's just going to be my rib uh, for when I tie in my pheasant tail here. Two fibers of pheasant tail here is, is heaps. You really don't need that much because, again, you don't want the body to be super thick. It does just doesn't need to be. So I'm just evening out my body here. And I'm going to wind this forwards and then cuz I've just got the thread back there, that's going to be uh that's going to be my rib just because it's nice and dull. Like but again, you could rib it with copper wire, silver wire, really whatever you wanted. Trim that there. Trim my thread a little. And with my brown thread here, just going to rib it forwards. Just because I find it does help the longevity of the fly when it gets uh, eaten a little bit. And there you go, super, super simple fly, really effective. Um, pop a Hubble half hitches in there, and then I'll probably put a dab of super glue or varnish on there to finish it. And that's it, super simple fly. Uh, it's been amazing so far early season here in Australia. It was one of my best flies at the World Championships in Slovakia. Um, you know, it catches grayling, catches trout. It's just great and super easy to tie as always. So hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next video.